Hello, this is Mark. Um, welcome to SuperGenius99.com. This video lecture is going to be about reducing fractions to reducing fractions to lowest terms. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started with the first one. So the difference between this and the previous one is now we got some variables in the mix and we can work with that. It's no big deal. So for this first fraction, we have negative 40 over y to the fifth. And then the bottom, it's negative 55 over y. So if you can recall, a fraction is kind of like a division. So if you have a negative in the numerator, negative denominator, it's kind of like a negative divided by a negative. What's the negative divided by a negative? It's positive. So our answer is going to be positive. Okay. So now let's just focus on the numbers. So what number can go into both 40 and 55? How about 5? So what is 40 divided by 5? Okay. 8. What is 55 divided by 5? 11. Let's look at the variables. 5y to the 5th and y to the 1st power. Anytime you don't see something on your variable, that's understood to be to the 1st power. So what is y to the 5th over y to the 1st? That's y to the 4th, and that goes in the top. The reason why it goes in the top is because when you reduce variables, you just subtract the exponents, okay, larger minus the smaller, and then wherever the larger one was, that's where the result goes. Okay, let's look at the next one. Negative 12y to the fifth over 98y to the sixth. So we're going to have a negative divided by a positive. Anytime we have a negative result, we're always going to leave that negative in the top. So what number can go into both 12 and 98? Okay. How about 2? So 12 divided by 2 is 6. 98 divided by 2, 49. We've got y to the 6 in the denominator, y to the 5th in the numerator. So 6 minus 5 gives us what? 1, or just y to the first power, since the larger one was in the denominator, your y's stay in the denominator. Okay? Let's look at the next one. 96x squared over 14x to the fourth. Oh, excuse me, apologize. In the previous one, since that was a negative divided by a positive, and it should be negative. Okay? Now let's do the next one. 96x squared over 14x to the fourth. Okay. So what number can go into both 96 and 14? We can start off with 2. So 96 divided by 2, 48. Okay. x squared over x to the fourth. Oh, excuse me. 14 divided by 2 is 7. We got an x squared in the numerator x to the fourth in the denominator. So 4 minus 2 gives us 2, and that gives us x squared. Okay. In the denominator, because the larger ones were in the denominator. Okay, let's look at the next one. We've got 44y to the fifth, x to the fifth, fifth over negative 88y to the fourth. Okay. So we got 44 over 88. So what number can go into both 44 and 88? 2. So 44 divided by 2, 22. Uh, negative 88 divided by 2 is 44. Okay. And let's see here. It was negative, so positive divided by negative will be negative, and you'll leave your negative in the top. And we can actually reduce that some more, so we'll do that in the next step. y the fifth over y the fourth. So what's our answer? 5 minus 4 is 1, so that gives us y to the first power. The larger ones were in the top, so I'll be y in the top. x to the fifth over x, so 5 minus 1 is 4, so I'll be x to the fourth power. The larger ones were in the top, so I'll be x to the fourth in the top. Uh, we can reduce this 22 over 44 some more. So what number can go into both 22 and 44? Well, 22. 
So 22 divided by 22 is 1. Okay. So I'll be a negative 1 y x to the fourth. And 44 divided by 22 is just 2. Now, if you have a negative 1, you don't have to write that 1 there because of the fact that 1 times anything is itself. So rather than write a negative 1, I'm going to get rid of the 1. Okay. So it's negative y x to the fourth over 2. Now most of the times you'll see in books they'll write this in alphabetical order. So rather than have it this way, they'll have negative x to the fourth y over 2. But since we know that multiplication is commutative, in other words, 3 times 4 is 4 times 3, then you can still write negative y x to the fourth. But, you know, just check with your teacher and see how they like that. Okay? And the last one here, we have 70y to the fifth x squared times 16y to the fourth, and I believe that's x to the fifth I wrote there. Okay. So what number can go into both 70 and 16? Uh, let's go with 2 since they're both even. So 70 divided by 2, that gives you 35. 16 divided by 2, that gives you an 8. We got a y to the fifth in our numerator. We got y to the fourth in the denominator. Okay, so 5 minus 4 gives us y to the first power, or just y. And since the larger y's were in the top, then we'll have a y in the top. You got an x squared in the numerator, x to the fifth in the denominator. Okay, so it's 5 minus 2, which gives you 3, so x cubed. Since the larger ones were in the denominator, your x cubed will be in the denominator. Alright, so that's that one. So this has been my video lecture about reducing fractions to lowest terms. You can look it up online, www.supergenius99.com. Thanks for watching.